guys. I, I'm I'm here. As you know from the last video, I am in prison in Tattersall. So today, despite the fact that I'm in prison, I still have to make a review. I know I've been behind, but I'm going to have to catch up while I'm in prison. So, this might be a little bit of an informal setting, but you got to do what you got to do, you know? And uh, so, yeah, let's... Let's begin. They took my stand away, so I'm just gonna have to like hold it like this. This is gonna be weird. Okay, I found a working flashlight, so this should be oh, what this should work. Okay, so today we are going to be reviewing Werewolf by Night. This happened a month ago. Well, more than a month ago at this point. At the beginning of October. And, uh, it is uh, the first special that Marvel has released. It is a Halloween special. <laughs> Alright, let's get into the non spoiler section of the review. So, this one is going to be a very short non-spoiler section because it's very simple. This is a great, great special. It is probably one of the best things to come out of Marvel over the past years. And uh, if you weren't like sure about what Marvel was going at, this one is definitely a good watch, I have to say. I really, really enjoyed it. It's like the thing that no one expected to be that good. People all, all thought it, like including me, thought it wouldn't be that good. Because, you know, they didn't really announce it at all until like the very last second. And so I was like, oh, maybe this is going to be like a rush production. But no, it's because they wanted to keep it a secret from everyone. And that was really cool. And, uh, it turned out to be, like, a, the smash hit. It It's in great, the plot's great. It's very, like, simple, but it's in the style of, like, an old, an old, uh, like, horror film from, like, the 50s and 30s or whatnot. And, uh, and so, it has lots of those, uh, like, spoofy graphics. Like, um, like... It's all in black and white. There's like, um, hidden throughout. And there's like the little ovals at the, at the corners of the screen, which signify when they need to change the reel. Um, in old movies, and they kind of put those in there, and they actually mark the ending and beginning of each chapter, which I thought was pretty clever. Um. um and uh there's some very good characters that they put in here um and so it ends up making it really great it's really fun um it works definitely as a halloween special you know it has that right level of creepy and that right level of like a little bit campy but in like a fun way like they're they're obviously trying to be campy So, yeah, it works really well. I I really like this film, or the short film. It's it's just like an hour long, so. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, that it's it's really great. I I really enjoyed it. Um. And so yeah, that's all I got for my non-spoiler review. Just, it's really great. It's really fun. I really highly recommend it. It's a great story. So, yeah. Let's move on to the non-spoiler, or the, the spoiler review. So, alright. <clears throat> okay. For the non-spoiler review, I will, I will be going into the plot in this one. So, the plot of it is this the uh 
Bloodstone. So, this big monster hunter guy named, like, Miss, like Bloodstone, that's his, like, last name, he dies. And after he dies, he leaves behind this artifact called the Bloodstone. And it is the super powerful thing that can, like, destroy monsters throughout the world. And so that makes it a very, like wanted thing by most monster hunters so a group of like f five monster hunters they get chosen in order to be like get the stone and the way that you get the stone is by getting it off the back of a monster this monster turns out to be man thing this monster turns out to be Man-Thing, a character from the comics that people might know. Um, and if you were like, what is that joke with him being named Ted? His name is actually Ted in the comics. They're just not, they're making fun of the name Ted. But, but, anywho, it is great, they, in the opening beginning act you're following everyone going through the maze of like town streets and it's all set in this like stage looking area that like like you can see the edge of the set which i thought was really cool because um the set is all practical by the way the entire thing it's like and so, in order to make that campy feel, you can see the edge of the set. And, uh, and so, the first act, I guess you could say, is them in the room giving, like, the big monologues and everything of them describing what happens. And then they, you know, and, like, the parameters of the test. And so, some person, some guard that ends up dying because, you know, he gets destroyed by a monster he ends up going out and attaching it to a monster the monster in the maze which is man thing and then they release all the people to go out on a hunt and find the bloodstone and retrieve it and the person who retrieves this bloodstone not only gets the powers of the bloodstone but becomes like the next biggest monster hunter yay and so, one of the people, um, his name is, like, Jack Russell, and that is a pun for the dog. Um, he is actually a werewolf, but he is going around trying to find this bloodstone, and it turns out that the reason why he's actually out there is because Man-Thing is his friend and he wants to free him because Man-Thing is actually not like a ruthless monster similar to similar to uh, Jack Russell. They are both monsters. And so and so he saves um, Man-Thing and lets him free through the wall. But along the way, he meets um, the daughter of Bloodstone, um, I forget her name. It's been a month. But, Elysi, Elysi Bloodstone, something like that. But she ends up, she somehow joins this hunt, despite the fact that the person running the hunt doesn't want her to be there. It seems to be like her mother, probably. But, um, that, the mother is really great. It's played by, it, uh, I don't know the names of actors, but the person who plays it is really good at being creepy. Um, and then they go, uh, at one point, they get locked into this room, and they discuss their backstories and, like, and, and stuff, and that's when they reveal that he, like, he, what he's doing on the hunt, and then she ends up helping him out. And then they end up blowing up the wall on the outside and then lets the Man-Thing free and he runs out. Man-Thing is the only thing I can think of in it that is CGI. 
that and in a later scene they have uh they have this red light stuff coming out of the bloodstone and it's obvious that is cgi just because it's not something you could do practically but it does look really good and uh i did say red it is red it's the only color thing in this like black and white thing and uh so once they retrieve the bloodstone it get they reveal that um that jack russell is in fact a monster because if a monster touches the bloodstone it hurts them and so when they see that he grabs it and then gets hurt by it that's when they all realize hey this dude is a werewolf and so what they do is they lock the daughter and the other guy uh, the werewolf up in a vault and then they give something to him that like activates the transformation of the werewolf and um the idea is that it will kill the daughter um and then it would be like some form of torture for the other guy because then he would feel bad and then they can like deal with that there and then so she she does um the uh, mother does that and um so she does that with the bloodstone and and like sorcery and whatnot and then um he um he reveals that he did this once before where he was able to save the person that he like if he like imprinted on them he might be able to recognize them as the werewolf because similar to the hulk the where he the he and the werewolf form does not like retain his memories but if he like tries really hard maybe he could like force one in there that's his theory and so he like imprints her in his mind like and so and so they have to like keep eye contact and like um in order to make sure that he they, they stay imprinted with each other and so when he turns into the werewolf a very good practical effect um he turns into the werewolf destroys everybody and it's great it's it's fun and uh very tense it's the most blood you will ever see in a marvel movie because it's in black and white that's how they're able to get away with it because all the blood is black instead of red but it's great they escape and then after all that it goes to her sitting in the chair and everything turns into color technicolor not sure what that's about but it's kind of like the wizard of oz ending where everything is fine at the end and then it goes to them outside of the facility uh as in them it's man thing and um werewolf guy um jack rustle and then they're outside and then um they like they're gonna go on and do something else from there they're in the real world now so that was a great great special and uh and uh i highly recommend you watch it if you for some reason didn't watch it after i told you that we're moving on to the spoiler section um but hey that's you but even if you got the plot spoiled it is very fun it's very good i highly recommend you watch it and so, that is my review. See ya!